I got into recording and producing as a musician, so I had kind of like an understanding going into spaces to record and create, knowing that like the studio can be a pretty daunting experience. It can be expensive, it can be stressful. You come with all your expectations. Sometimes you don't know who you're working with and you're paying them a lot of money and time to be vulnerable in front of them. So I feel like because I've come from that. In my early days, I always had like a pretty like, strong awareness of that, knowing that, hey, these artists are coming to me, they're trusting me, they might be nervous, they might be excited, they might be expecting all of these different things. And so my job is to meet them where they are, make sure it's a safe, calm space, just paying attention and listening. I mean, that's my job is to listen. So it doesn't really start and stop when I hit the red button, it kind of, starts from the first mention of, hey, I might want to do a record. <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> you know? Yeah, you got it. And then we go, because of my father's love, I learned to love, which is the second one from before, not I learned to learn. I believe if you are talented and passionate about what you do, you should be able to create what you want. <laughs> I want to live in that world, so I work really hard to create that world for all the folks that I meet. I'm looking to work with people that I like care about and like adore in terms of their work and like how they live their lives and how they treat their partners and how they move. And Brock is like the epitome of that, so I'm like so honored that he's also dope as fucking engineering. What the fuck? And he had established this amazing business with his partner. And I think it's cool to hear him say how his partner was the one like, no, we can do this. Cause I think that's important to say. So I'm really, it's always really nice when people are really clear about that within their relationship. I think creating art is a holy endeavor in itself. So I take it very seriously. And so really excited about this next record that we're working on because it just feels like the next thing, the next step, everything's elevated a little more. Everything's a little more Jasmine. I can see her coming more into her own. So that's exciting to be able to support and be a part of. So I'm very grateful for that. Lights on? Cool. And I think that's where we'll go out today. And then I think I'll come in and clean up who I am and my father's love on Tuesday. Totally. And then any edits from all vocals will be done Tuesday. Yeah, and me and Atticus, uh, before we leave, we'll make sure you have roughs of everything again. So Amazing. everybody it's knows clear. what's going yeah, on. I'm, I'm planning to then, um, because Tuesday is a 10 to 8 day. I, I want to be done cutting all vocals by like, honestly, one, two o'clock. Cool. Sounds good to me. Jasmine has a lot of very talented people that she's working with. So a lot of different producers around. It's been an interesting process. I see myself as somebody who is trying to just take all of these different pieces of fabric and make sure that they fit together in the quilt of the record. She could do this all by herself. She's a very impressive person and is capable, but I think it's also pretty special that she's including a community that can push her and help give her perspective. In general, with all records, I'm, I'm trying to be more of a window. I'm trying to support what's already there. And I guess what I'm trying to say is Jasmine's coming with a very intentional record, a focus and a vision. And so the little technical things that I can help make that vision reality with, I'm excited to. <laughs> Whole beans, okay? Whole beans, bitch. Whole beans, bitch. Beans, bitch. Not bangs, beans. <laughs> what are you talking about?